Greetings, this is Gynthian, and it has finally arrived 1.14 Minecraft, the Village and Pillage update. <music> Greetings, this is Gynthian. Welcome to episode one of my newest series, The Kingdom Chronicles. We are playing on the Kingdom Chronicles. Chronicles server. This area you see here is spawn. It is where Minecraft deposits you when you first bring up the server until you change your spawn point. This is where we will start off the series and start working on building this world. More on that in just a minute. For those of you that are new to my channel, I want to help you master Minecraft so you can enjoy watching and playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. I've got my wooden sword, let's go look around. That's the house I built. It's just a starter house. Let's go look over here. And there's a pigman. He must have come through the portal. Let's let's kill him. And Oh. Oh good. That was close. I almost died. Again. I collect junk, don't I? And you can see here I have a serious inventory problem. Let me go work on that. I am back and see I've cleaned things up. I'm gonna put this armor on. I'm supposed to be a king. I got a shield which I didn't make. And this is the new crossbow. I had to kill a pillager for it. It's cool. Let's go over here. I need wood. I don't have a pick. Just shameful. Get these wood planks. Then I will go make sticks. And then I can make a wooden pick. There we go. Now all I need is some stone and I can make a stone pick. I need to explain the kingdom. This is our map of the world. This is the spawn area where we currently are. And each of the players have their own kingdom. My kingdom is up here, as you can see there. I think the best way so that I don't get lost is I will probably get a boat. Then I can follow the land all along this edge until I get to my kingdom and start working on building it. Right now I'm still working on building resources because I'm not brave enough to make that trip quite yet. Let's take a look at this map a little differently. This is a different version of the same world map. And we start off looking down here where spawn is. That corresponds to the same place. Each of the villager heads corresponds to a place that has a high probability of spawning a village. 
so it's very likely we will find village at that location. I wanted to show you where my two islands that are, make up my kingdom. Turns out, when you look at this middle section here, this is Mir's kingdom, and he took the ocean, which is not completely clear on the other map. And the next closest neighbor on land is Looney, and he has this area, and this smaller island here we actually split in half. I think his half has the village on it, but I actually haven't checked. And that leaves me this large island here and half of this smaller island. Let's take a closer look at that real quick. Upon closer inspection, you can see that I definitely don't have that potential village, but I take the sliver of this island, the smaller section, as part of my kingdom. So that should be interesting. And probably the larger island will be where the capital is and my castle. And of course, I will connect them up so that it is easy to transport back to forth. But that's all part of the design of the kingdom, which is something I have to work on. If we go back and forth between the two maps, you can clearly see where the different kingdoms fall, at least for my part of the world anyway. And that makes it a little more clear, I think. Anyway, let's get back to the game. I met a player named Random Garbage. I'll just call him Random for short. He doesn't have a microphone, so all of our conversation takes place in game chat. He and I decided to do some mining, which I'm going to show is a time lapse. So I'm gathering some resources like a string from the cobwebs and we start mining further down, and this is not good. This is not good at all. I... Did my wooden sword break? Is that what caused that? Good grief. Now I'm back where I started. I'm going to ask him to see if they can get my stuff. I'm just going to go get it. And hopefully I won't run into any more problems. This is not the first time I've died. And, oh, this player goes by the name of King. I think, his, I think his name is longer than that, but we'll just refer to him as King. He killed the zombie and saved my stuff. So I got back to mining, and it didn't take long before this happened. So I'm fighting and winning, and cool. I defeated the... oh crap. Really? He, oh, nope, he's gonna shoot me again. I'm forced to eat rotten flesh. Just to try to get myself to heal. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there's another skeleton. Oh, are they shooting each other yet? Why do I think this is going to end badly? <sighs> oh my goodness. So, killed by a skeleton. Now I've got to run back down there. I 
I'm beginning to get frustrated with dying. And where's the place that I went last? He tells me it was closed off. Oh, great. Well, I see the skeleton, but I really need to get my stuff. I'm just going to go for it. This is not going well. If I can't get back to it, then that just means it's going to despawn. So... I'll never get it back. I will just start over. Get food, sticks, wooden pick, and go again. I think I'm going to put a door here. That has to be better than just blocking it off. Right? And here we go again. Run away! I'm gonna leave him down there, and I think I'll just start digging this way. Uh-oh. I'll just wait here. Let's peek. Okay, here he comes. I don't even have anything to say. Not my day. I'm just going to go back and kill him. I'll do it with my fists if I have to. Take that, skeleton. Okay, after mining for a while, I even managed to get a diamond or two. Random and I decided to go to the nether, since there is a nether portal. And I would show him how to use the pigman grinder which I learned from watching somebody else's video, who also plays on this server. Now the idea is to go hit a pigman, and then come back inside this room, and the pigman will line up outside to try to get you, and you can kill them. And here they come. Works like a charm. And so here's the way the rest of our nether adventure went.
So here I had worked my way up to 24 levels before I died. Okay, I'm back up to 17 level, 18 levels, and I'm going to stop before I die and go back up and enchant this sword so that I can have an enchanted diamond sword. I don't know what to say again. I just don't know what to say. All of the phrases I can think of are not children, family friendly. Gather up all my stuff. And of course, I don't have the levels anymore because I died. So I will just take it back and come back and enchant later. After I get some more levels. But I honestly think I'm not today. And I am out of time for this episode. I'm exhausted. Largely because I haven't accomplished much other than create a diamond sword and a diamond pick. Which I haven't been able to enchant. Because every time I try to get levels, I died in the process. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Kingdom Chronicles. Thanks for watching, and goodbye! <laughs>